Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Elizabeth and in today's video I am bringing you a ton of indoor and outdoor motivation. Not only are we getting things cleaned inside, but I'm bringing you that garden motivation that I've been promising for a little bit. While it's not as in depth as I would have liked, you're still going to get that motivation to either get some weeding done, maybe some deadheading. So if you're into this type of content, please subscribe. Plenty more coming your way and please consider giving the video a thumbs up. So for today, I'm starting off in my son's room. This is typically where I like to start when I'm starting on my cleaning journey for the house, simply because there's not a lot going on in his room, so it usually only requires a light dusting, maybe putting away some clothes, giving it a quick vacuum. Honestly, what takes me a long time is when there's piles of clothes to put away, because I'm that person that needs to look through and organize and see what fits, what doesn't fit. I can't just simply put them away. Anybody else like that? Um, but I am starting off in his room today just to give me that motivation to keep moving on because realistically this room literally takes me about 15 minutes to clean um, and if I'm doing a deep clean you're looking at about a half hour. So I wanted to give his windows a quick wipe down um, just because like I said his room's not super dirty but my gosh does it get dusty. You're going to see a lot of dust in the next few clips just between his bathroom, our master bedroom was a hot mess. Um, but like I said, it doesn't take me long to clean this room. Is there any room in your household that takes you like 5-10 minutes that you love to clean? Let me know down below what you're focusing on and why you're focusing on that room today. So while it doesn't show me putting away the laundry on this particular day, um, I have a ton of laundry that I have to do for him. I'm actually going to be going through that dresser and reorganizing it and giving away clothes that no longer fit him. So he's fitting fairly well now in the 24 month uh, section and some 2T pretty well. He's going to be two at the end of August. so. It's what's expected, right? But it's like all of a sudden, I feel like this summer he's just sprouted. He's grown so, so much. Anybody else, if you guys have kiddos at home, is it not just insane how fast they grow? Even when he wakes up from a nap, it's like, oh my God, you look taller. Um, <laughs> but that's definitely going to be one of my next projects. One of the other projects I had wanted to do this summer is organizing not only, yes, his closet, but some of the other closets in the house, the guest bedroom closet for sure, and then our master bedroom. That's probably my next video I'm going to be filming is taking everything out, giving it a nice deep clean, and then decluttering that closet. Haters on the 
tirade. Talking to the grip and the face be still. Let that hate stuff fade. We all with the same. We all want a meal and a safe. I want to live like I'm trying to get lightning. Trail spill from my lips. Feel big from the bit. Take a sip till I pass out. Try and get grip, but it don't make sense. Cause you can lose life on this fast route. Yeah. Turn thoughts to a cash cow. I might flip that to the glass house. I don't need the accolades. I'm in love with the chase. I just want to eat, save a spot at the table. Beast with the slap, pin myself on the map. You long with the wind, but we knowing that it's cap. Five hour flights, couple nights at the flat. To be real, could you see me making moves while I'm at? I'm still on the grind, limit time when I chat. I'm burning down sage, keep the demons away. When I write it, give a piece of myself to the page. I don't do it for the praise, love. That's just how I'm made. Truth in the glass <laughs> in the mirror. Yeah. Do it at me, old man. Trying to pass in the fear. You're the first one to talk, but the last one to hear. Eyes blurry, but I couldn't see that. And he cleared down. Start to feel like I'm on one. Start to land, I'll be here for the long run. I'm a slave for the cash. Got snakes in the grass. No brakes on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all. Heard enough. So one of the last things I'm doing is just vacuuming his room, um, just getting that nice and tidy so I can move on to the next project. But I just wanted to quickly introduce myself. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm really happy to have you. So my name is Sarah Elizabeth. I focus a lot of my channel on cleaning, organizing. I've just started adding some routines, maybe a few decorates with me. You can decorate with me when the fall comes. So definitely stick around if you're into that type of content. I have plenty of motivation coming your way. So I'm a full-time mom, I'm a wife, and I work full-time, typically Monday through Friday. I do school nursing, so right now I am on summer break. I'm blessed to be able to have my summers off, but most times I'm squeezing in my cleaning, my organizing, and just everything else during the week when I have time, which is usually a little after 3 o'clock when I get home. So you'll see those videos upcoming as soon as late August rolls around, because that's when we will be returning uh, back to work. So on day one, I only got two rooms done. I had about an hour um, to myself to get things done before I had errands to run. So that's why I chose his room and then I decided to work on the bathroom. And I've said it before in my previous videos, but if you're newer here, you may not know. His bathroom really only gets used for bath time for him and then um, his little toilet there that, you know, when he decides he wants to use the toilet. We haven't officially started potty training. We kind of have, kind of, kind of haven't, but you know, it doesn't get super dirty in here. Really, the only other time we use this bathroom is if somebody's staying over or if the bathroom downstairs that the guests use is full. We have a big party going, we'll usually send them to this bathroom upstairs. But for the most part, this doesn't take me that long to clean either. The majority of my time is focused between the bathtub um, and the toilet, to be honest with you. So I cannot say enough about Fabuloso. One of my favorite cleaners for like the multi-purpose cleaner. I love putting it in warm water and just washing down the walls with it or different areas in the house. Um, some of my other favorite products is usually the pink stuff and anything, if I'm doing a heavy clean or disinfection, anything Clorox, Lysol, bleach, anything like that. Granted, they are very strong chemicals, very strong odor, which I don't love because it does trigger my asthma, but I do love them to clean the bathrooms in heavily soiled areas or again after we've been sick. Let me know down below what are your go-to products when you're cleaning. Reception out there, where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you 
getting closer to me at first year. But I need you, and you're off my radar now. I've lost you. Telling you that I need you, but you're off my radar now. Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you That I need you, but you're off my radar now. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste So day two, and I am focusing on my master bedroom. I really wanted to make sure I was able to get in here and give it a good clean. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I even really dusted under the bed or dusted the furniture. Um, and you're going to see me taking away those little napronge, is what we call them in Portuguese, like the little doilies, I think is what it is in English. I'm going to take those away so that I can just give them a quick wash. It's not like I'm washing them every month or anything like that. They stay on there. I kind of trade them out per season. I use these a lot because my grandmother made these for me, my vovó, so I do like to use them, um, but they definitely needed a nice wash so I could just iron and put them away, and then I will just see what color I'm going to put out next. I usually switch between colors of white, beige, blue, and red is what she had made for me, but definitely I needed to get everything dusted. It was incredibly dusty. There's been a lot of movement in our room. So one of the next areas I'm focusing on is just the ceiling fan. So I'm just quickly dusting it. Now usually I wash it down, again, where I mentioned the fabulous, so just warm water and give it a quick wipe. But it wasn't too, too bad. We've been keeping it on top of the fan because we've been running it at night. Um, when the AC is not on, it will kick on the fan just to kind of have that in between. Um, but typically speaking, if I'm going to be cleaning off the furniture, it's with a multi-purpose spray or again that warm water with the Fabuloso and then I'll just dry it so it's not saturating and soaking into the wood. How often are you guys cleaning with a multi-purpose cleaner if you're cleaning your furniture in your room or in the living room? Feeling it tonight 
Riding on the dizzying heights So one of the things I love to focus on and constantly clean when I'm cleaning my room is the windows. So the shades are constantly trapped with dust, it's just inevitable, but I do like to dust it with the Feather Duster there from Swiffer, and then I usually just use a Sprayway or Windex and clean down the windows. One of my goals for this summer is to get one of the large plastic bins, take down the shades from each room, soak them in some warm soapy water, then lay them out to dry somewhere in the backyard on the deck just so they get a more thorough clean and I'll feel a little bit better about that because they've been, you know, deeply cleaned. Um, but typically speaking, if I'm doing weekly maintenance or bi-weekly, it's really just dusting the shades and wiping down the windows. How often do you guys do that in your home? I know some people don't really focus on it. It's once a month, twice a month. Um, I guess just where we live, it tends to be a little bit more dusty, especially in the summer. Uh, but let me know how often you guys are doing that on your end. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I floated on air in my mind So after making the bed, I go ahead and focus in on the floors like I said, you're going to see a dust pile in a few minutes, just horrible. Not as bad as it's been previously, I will give myself credit for that, but it just gets so, so dusty. I love wooden floors, laminate floors, what have you, but they do attract more dust, I feel like, than carpet. Either that or we just see it a lot more. Um, but just wondering what you guys have been up to for this summer. Are you guys on vacation right now? Did you just come back from the vacation? Have you been doing a lot of cookouts? We've been enjoying a ton of outdoor time. I spend most of my time after cleaning, either you know doing some self-care, going shopping, doing what I need to do for the house, but I'm also in the garden. I'm tending to my pumpkins right now as that plant is finally flourishing and you'll see that later on in the video. But let me know what you've been doing for this summer and is anybody else finding that summer is just flying by or is it just me? I don't know. <laughs>
So the last thing I'm doing after dry mopping is just giving the room a quick vacuum and then I'm going to go ahead and mop it like I usually do. This is the best way for me to keep it feeling fresh and again keeping that dust at bay. I do like this, the Swiffer mop because it picks up a ton of dust and hairballs but I find I need to vacuum afterwards. I know a lot of people don't tend to do this. It's just what works best for my family. So we are moving on into the office space. As you guys can see, I've kept up with it as best I can. We've been on top of the filing. We've been on top of just not piling things on the floor. Um, so the only thing it's really attracting right now is dust. So that's why we're really in there, just kind of keeping things organized. And that's why I'm dusting. And as you can see, I'm getting good use of my whiteboard. I used to use that when I was at my house all the time, just to keep a list of what I had to do for the month, etc. And prior to that, when I was in college for nursing, I use that as my whiteboard for all my little, um, I, I can't even remember the name of it before, inorganic, inorganic chemistry so that I can memorize the formulas and all that good stuff. I am somebody, much to my friend's dismay, who graduated to be pharmacist. They all hated organic chem. I loved it. Um, but this was my way of, you know, memorizing some of the things I needed for those classes because they were definitely difficult. We needed it for nursing. Have I used it since then? No. Maybe some aspect of nursing uses it, but it, it's, it came in handy for anybody who was looking at a whiteboard. So one of the other things I wanted to do was just wipe down this desk with a multi-purpose spray. It's not been clean like that for quite a while. I also took the opportunity to do the chair. So this desk was originally at my abuelita's house um, and when she passed away we moved it over to my house. It was originally my mom's growing up but she didn't really utilize it all that much so it came into our office space and it served us fairly well. Again, we don't spend a ton of time in our office. I think as time goes on, we'll probably update the desk, update and get a computer, all that good stuff upstairs and utilize that a little bit more. Or even as my son gets older, he'll probably use that as his study space. But right now it works out well for when we have some things we need to do around the house or just sit down and discuss, you know, certain big projects, contracts, things like that. It works out really well.
Well, as always, when I'm on my cleaning journey after vacuuming, one of the last things I love to do is just give the floor a quick mop. I personally love the Swiffer Wet Jet. I've had a few friends who are telling me you need to try the Old Cedar Mop, and like I said, it wasn't high on my list of things that I needed, but they swear by it. They put the powder in there, hot boiling water, and they said it's the cleanest they've seen their floors. Let me know down below. Do you prefer the Old Cedar Mop? Are you guys like me and use the Swiffer Mop? What's your go-to when mopping your floors? So we're in our master bathroom now. I've been trying to keep up with this so it's not as cluttered, but I will say keeping up with the shower is not something I've done well with. So I wanted to just make sure I got all the countertops, the mirror, things like that, the usual. I will say it never fails almost every time I clean off the countertops or I've done a deep clean of that bathroom. My husband goes and either shaves his beard or cuts his hair and I get those little hairs that's what you're seeing on the Clorox wipe there all over again. I like to make sure that I focus in on the bathroom and I am using the pink stuff for this. I tend to really like the pink stuff. It was my first time buying it a couple months ago and I think it does a really good job as a multi-purpose spray. Not that I don't love Mrs. Myers. I know you guys have seen me using that in some of my videos as well. I just find the pink stuff does a deeper clean than Mrs. Myers. I, I enjoy the Mrs. Myers strictly for the scent if I'm being honest but if I'm looking for an all-around multi-purpose spray that's my favorite, it would probably be the pink stuff and then the paste that you'll see me using in the shower in just a little bit.
So moving on into the shower, I'm going to be investing, I think, in like a shower scrubber or one of those little, um, they look like miniature drills, um, but they're like a power tool. It has the scrub head on there. I think that'll help us out a lot for the bottom where all the soap scum is. But again, I just took the pink stuff this time and then the pink stuff paste, it's like a putty, and went in with a scrub mommy brush and really, really scrubbed as best I could. Um, and it looked pretty good, but this still, I always feel like I could do more. Eventually down the line, we'd love to be able to redo our master bathroom and have it just the way we'd like it with some stone in there to redo the shower, but that's not going to be for years and years to come. We're still focusing on a lot of stuff around the house, mainly outside. Um, one of our goals for next year or in the years to come will be to do the patio and then plant some trees. Um, as a border near the fence so that we have a little bit more privacy. So once I'm done giving everything a good scrub, a good clean, disinfecting everything, I just go ahead in and vacuum the floor. Um, in one of my previous videos, I used that Zep Grout Cleaner. I'm probably going to try and use that around the toilet again and then use it in my other two bathrooms in the upcoming weeks. I'm planning to do my deep clean series like I've done before sometime in August. That's going to be in three parts as well. Usually I do this right before the change of season, but I'm picking August strictly because I'm going to be going back to work very soon. And I want to make sure the house gets a real deep clean. It's good to go so that I can just decorate and do what I need to do for fall when it rolls around in September. And I don't need to worry about balancing all my beginning of the year stuff at work and then the housework. Okay, so as promised, I do have some of the yard work that I needed to get done. I didn't necessarily film the front yard. That's really where the majority of weeding needs to get done and stuff. But I was doing this after hours and my husband, who was supposed to be doing his homework, was watching my son 
um, so he wouldn't be running amok. So here is the side garden that has all the gladioles and stuff like that. So I'm just going ahead and deadheading and getting some things done here. Like I said, I love to be in the garden. I love flowers, love vegetables and fruits. My hope is to expand on the raised beds in that garden over on the other side of the house next year in the upcoming years so I can add a few more fruits and veggies. But let me know what you guys are working on outside. Do any of you garden? Do you have a vegetable garden, fruits? Is it just flowers? Let me know down down below. So these are some of the flowers that I deadheaded. As you can see, some of the top blooms were still viable, but there's only like really one or two blooms left, so I couldn't see the point in keeping them on there. So the problem is when you do not deadhead flowers, so mainly all dead, etc., and you just leave them on there on the stem and they're mixed in with a whole bunch of other flowers, it steals nutrients and takes away energy from the other flowers that have yet to bloom or yet to grow. So I didn't want to do that, as you can see. Um, there are all different ones coming in. I have the light pink, I have a dark pink back there. There's still some more growing in between. So I'll be out here staking them and getting them to where they need to be. And as for this section over here, um, there's not much that can grow here, unfortunately for me. So I have to figure out what to plant here because it's all cement under there. And then there's still some dirt. I could have planted something right here. So I'm thinking what I might do come the fall is just grab a few more of the gladiolus bulbs and continue them up to the point where the cement starts. And then I'll probably put a bird bath or something there. But let me know what you think would look good there. Again, it can't be a plant um, just because it won't grow because of the cement. So I'm just heading over to the pumpkin area. I decided to get a transplant this year. It's funny. So this little guy grew from seed and he grew really, really late. Um, typically speaking, I plant them or the seeds early June. So I'm going to have to train these guys to go elsewhere. Um, 
and I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with him. I don't want to pluck him because he looks nice and healthy. And this was my transplant that took forever, and I do mean forever, to really do anything. Um, he's just now kind of started coming into his own. Well, all right my friends so this is bringing us to the end of the video i hope that it motivated you not only to get some things cleaned or disinfected inside the house but maybe to accomplish and tackle some of that yard work that i know i was putting off and probably many of you were putting off so i hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please remember to subscribe leave me a comment down below chat with me i love to be able to talk with you guys and with that i will see you in my next video next week bye